All right, I had these uh, illuminated door sills installed. Actually, um, <clears throat> it was easy to do thanks to Raymond um, in YouTube. He's got several videos on um, some modifications done to his Mercedes. Um, really good instructions. The uh, It was really easy thanks to him. Cable goes, you remove uh, this trim. You also remove this trim right here. Remove that, um, and you're gonna remove that, and then you run the cable. It shows you how to run the cable through there, through the boot, up here, down to the light. Okay, and uh, it's really easy. It, it, it was it was a snap to do. However, in my case, I also installed the rear ones. Okay, now these were a little bit tricky because you can run the cable through the boot to the door. Um, that's that's a no-go because that is a molex connection there and um, <clears throat> I wasn't about to drill a hole through that molex and through the car, that's, uh, that's out of the question. So what I did is I removed this lower B panel, the top, the top B panel, this trim, this trim right here, and this trim as well, this trim right here. And then I tapped into the positive wire here and the negative that controls that door and uh, controls uh, the right door. And I did the same for the left door over there. So uh, <clears throat> and it was really easy. Thanks to Car Toys, they gave me the, uh, they printed out the diagram that shows the color code for the two wires that I need to tap into. So uh, <clears throat> it was really easy. But uh, again, uh, Raymond has great video on a lot of mods that he's done and uh, this looks better than the factory ones because the factory ones the factory one um, it was gonna go here this gets removed it goes right here and then this this right here is the old seal the car had okay and so you don't remove this if you're gonna use the OEM one the factory one because there's three holes here okay um, because this has like a guide and so the factory one you put it here and then this one gets covered up it brings up in the kit it brings us a clear chrome piece that you put over this to cover this Mercedes Benz uh, name so actually you're gonna end up with two chrome sills and you know that looks awful okay that in my opinion that looks bad not only does it cost like eight hundred nine hundred dollars this right here it's beautiful it only cost me um, $65, okay? So, <clears throat> I also had the uh, my friends at Exclusive Films, before I installed it, they put a clear uh, uh, protective film on the sill to protect it from scratches and stuff, so. But uh, there you have it, guys. Uh, I recommend you guys see, uh, if you wanna know how to get that installed on the, on the front, left, and right door, uh, check out Raymond's uh, video really good he's got a lot of really good videos